have you ever had an experience when you created your task list, you planned your day and didn't get through it? Or if you did get through it, you felt exhausted at the end of it or you didn't feel fulfilled about it or you procrastinate a lot of your tasks on your list. Sometimes even so that you put something on your task list and it's been procrastinated for weeks and weeks or months and months together. Maybe you put something in the last year and it's still on the task list this year. Have you had that experience? Yeah, all of us go through that. And that happens because we are thinking about creating tasks and we're thinking about planning the day in a specific way that's not very efficient. Now, what we're doing is correct. Making the list of tasks, planning our day, putting on the calendar, all of that makes sense. But one crucial element gets missed out on when we create our task list. Now, this is a continuation from my last video where I shared a new way to think about your goals and a new way to think about your videos. And today I'm going to share with you a new way to think about creating your tasks, a new way to think about planning your day in a way that's not just productive, but in a way that creates fulfillment, in a way that you, when you do the task, don't feel resistance, you don't feel procrastination, or you don't feel like you have to do something, but it shifts your experience from you have to do something to you wanting to do something, you wanting to go ahead and do those tasks. So this comes from the idea and the fundamental principle is that as humans, we have values. And those values are in form of experiences. So there are experiences in our lives that are important to us. And we do things, we do everything in our life because it gives us certain experience. Uh, for example, we want to make money because it gives us experience of freedom or it gives us experience of power or it gives us experience of security, right? We want to travel because it gives us experience of adventure or it gives us experience of exploration or it gives us experience of learning. So we do things because it gives us certain experience. And the same thing applies on your day-to-day -day task as well. Because as humans, it's important to us to have certain experiences in life. For me, I know that it's important that I need to have fun in my life. It's important that I need to experience freedom. I need to experience productivity. I need to experience growth. I need to experience satisfaction, happiness. These are all experiences that are important to me that I need to feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Connection is such an important experience for me. Now, what tends to happen is that when we focus on tasks, it might give you the experience of maybe satisfaction, completion, but doesn't take into account your overall experience of what you want. And that's why sometimes you feel resistance. That's why sometimes you procrastinate because procrastination is nothing but you pay importance to one experience or other. So something that's important to you that you need to get done, but you feel like there's something easier. So you're going for the experience of easy or you're going for the experience of peaceful or you're avoiding being stressed, right? So even as you live your day and as you go through your tasks, you're always focusing all these different experiences in your life. And so I want to give you a new system that you can implement for next 10 to 15 days and see what happens. See if your experience of your day changes, see how you feel at the end of the day changes and see how you feel about getting things done or getting your tasks done changes, right? So I want you to create an experience calendar. So first step is to list down all the experiences that are important to you. Like I said, for me, it's happiness, connection, fun, adventure. And then I'd like you to slot experience in your calendar, not the tasks, but experience. So for example, I know that every day from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. is my fun time, which is where I, I intend and I aim to have fun. And it doesn't have to be every day. It could be some days is fun, some days isn't. I know that Monday morning from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is my creativity time. Uh, and then from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. is my productivity time. And then evening, usually the dinners are connection time, where I spend time with my family, where I spend time with my wife to do... Uh, to experience that connection. So I'm slotting all these experiences that are important to me in life in all of these different times. And then I'm going to bucket all the tasks based on the experience. So for example, if it's something that I need to do writing, I put it in my creative bucket. If it's something that I need to do like a task, which is like a phone call or, you know, exploration call or coaching conversation, which goes in my productivity bucket, 
uh, which is from two to four. And then I also put things like, you know, what gives me fun? Watching movies, playing PS4, uh, all of that is my fun time, which goes in the fun bucket. And then reading books, learning something new, joining courses goes to my learning bucket. So now you're organizing your tasks based on all these different buckets and all these different experiences that you want to have in life. So plan your calendar first based on all these experiences and then put tasks in those buckets. And then go ahead and do those tasks and live your day and check the difference that you feel at the end of the day in terms of fulfillment, how easy and effortless it becomes to get through your tasks because you know that you know you will not procrastinate, you will not let go of important tasks to have fun because you know that you have slotted fun. It's there and you're going to focus on that. So your you getting thing done will become more effective and more effortless. So just check your experience, check the distinctions. And again, share with me in the comments of what happens with you as you go through this. And also share your thoughts as you have listened to this video. I'd love to know what your experience and reflections are from this video.